everybody. Welcome to Busy Lizzie's Budget. I am so happy and thankful you're here with me today. Before I forget, I want to say happy birthday to two of my special friends. I don't want to forget, so I'll start off by saying happy birthday to Lindsay at Boy Mom Loves to Save. That is her YouTube and her Etsy. Her birthday was yesterday, May 1st, and I am so excited. She's coming to visit me in October when the foliage is super nice around here where I live in New Hampshire. So anyway, she's one of my closest friends and I just wanted to say happy birthday on camera to Lindsay. And then I have a subscriber who is so, so supportive and sweet and I just love her to pieces. Her name is Jen with two N's and I won't say her last name in case she doesn't want it out there. But Jen, thank you for always checking up on me, always making me smile. I love seeing what you're up to. I love touching base with you and you just make my world a little sweeter. So happy birthday to both of my friends and we're going to go ahead and actually start this video with happy mail. And let me say, I'll go ahead and have Matt put the time up right here right now where I actually start the cash portion of this video. But first I'm going to show you one piece of happy mail and then I'm gonna show you what my son brought back for me from his trip to Spain. He totally surprised me. So we're just gonna start and that's what we're gonna do first. And then what we'll end up doing is taking a bunch of my finished savings challenges that have not been stuffed yet and we'll empty them, count up the money, and we will put them into my binders. So that's the end goal. But first, we're going to take care of the other stuff. So I have been getting a lot of happy mail. You guys are so good to me. And I've apologized before. I will apologize again. I have not, normally I show everything on camera, and I have not been able to do that the past couple months because of my neck surgery and having less videos and things like that. So anyway, I'm sorry for that. This is actually the second piece of happy mail I have gotten from this person. I didn't even show you the first one, but I got some happy mail from Nicole and I will link her shop in the description box. I think it's Nicole Chat and Budget, but she just sent me another piece of happy mail and you guys it was so sweet. It just touched me so much. I was so excited. I said, I've got to show it in the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and showcase this one. Um, it has so many cute little stickers and she clearly knows I love sloths. So anyway, it says, hi, Lizzie. I just wanted to say hi and wish you a smooth recovery one day at a time. You are such an inspiration to us all. Each video always gives me a smile and helps encourage me to keep at my budgeting. Lots of love, Nicole. Chat with Nicole and budget. So that is her shop name. And you guys wait till you see what she sent me. I just could not believe it. First of all, the first thing I saw was this balloon dog fidget toy. And I'm telling you right now, it took everything in me not to open it right away. I thought I would open it with you guys on camera. It says stretching, twisting, and bending fun. I'm going to open it right now. I do love the color mint green. And I've never seen anything like this. And I can't even tell you how excited I am to have this on my desk to play with. It is so cute. And I'm guessing Nicole must have watch my video where I said I really wanted to do a balloon animal savings challenge binder, but there weren't enough challenges out there. Well, she made me a custom challenge. It says balloon animal party. And I know Carly and Peggy, they had made me, um, and probably some other people too, I'm forgetting, had also made me some um, balloon animal challenges, but it says busy Lizzie's budgets. And, um, it's a, it's a cool little scratch off here where you say 50. And then you guys, this just kept getting like so sweeter and sweeter. Here is this like, I can't even explain it. It, it reminds me of when I collected stickers growing up and I collected puffy stickers or oily stickers. It kind of reminds me of that, but it's this really thick paper clip that I'm positive she made for me. And then these reusable IOUs that are balloon animals but they're like different ones. So not just the dog, but the frog. And oh my goodness, you guys, when my, it just, 
it brings this sense of nostalgia back for me because when my kids were little, their dad decided he was going to learn how to make balloon animals. So he bought a kit. He learned how to do it. He would make the monkeys, monkeys chilling on a banana. He made them all kinds of stuff. And everyone was saying, oh, well, he's a pediatrician. He should make them at work for his patients. And he's like, no, 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 no. Because he knew that would open up a whole can of worms with, you know, kids' balloons breaking and he'd be making them all day. And what if he had a day off and someone was sad they didn't get their animal? So he said, nope, I'm just doing it for my kids. So he did it for them when they were little. And then if they had like a birthday party to go to, um, he would make the 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 person whose party it was their favorite animal and the kids would bring it to them. So it's just kind of brings back some memories, but I seriously freaked out when I saw all this stuff. And then there were also some super cute stickers. So I don't know how Nicole would have known this, but I told you guys, I like sneaker challenges and like, I don't know, but the sandals too totally got me. This sticker is so cute. And there were like all these, it says you Birkin rock. That is so funny. There's another croc. There's Birkin crocs, which somebody needs to make a challenge to go with this, like for either Birkin stocks or Birkin crocs. I don't know. There's a balloon animal sticker and this says get well soon, which is so sweet. And then I'm almost hundred percent positive. She took this sticker and made a puffy sticker to put a puffy sloth face on this. I don't think it would have come like that, but either way, I love it. So there was just so much thoughtfulness in this. And anybody who sends me something, you guys are all super thoughtful, but I just, I had to show you all this because I thought you would like to see. So huge thanks to Nicole and check out her, I always wanna say YouTube shop, check out her Etsy shop in the description box follow her shop and anyway thank you so much nicole and thank you to the rest of you too who have um sent me cards even if you haven't sent me anything and you've sent sent me anything physical but you've sent me a message told me you're praying for me written it in a comment even if you've just watched my videos that truly helps me out i appreciate you all so much so i don't know how well you guys oh maybe if i put it down like that you can see it better um let me stop and say that I'm filming this on Wednesday. I, I think I said it was May 2nd, um, Jen's birthday, but um, I believe today is Wednesday. I have to go to the dentist. I am dreading it. I hate going to the dentist, but I faithfully go for cleanings every six months. Um, I do not procrastinate on teeth, I believe, since you have to have one set of teeth for, you know, you only get one set of teeth, so... I guess technically two, but you lose the first set. But you know what I mean. I try to uh, make that my top priority. So anyway, I have a cleaning today I'm not too excited about. But um, I wanted to make sure I filmed this video first. And now I want to show you what my son brought back for me from his trip to Spain. So in case you're new here or you just don't know, my son Max is 17 and a half. He will turn 18 in October. He is a junior this year and he's taken Spanish in school since kindergarten. And he had the extreme awesome opportunity. I don't even know how to say it eloquently, but... He is very blessed. He was invited to go on a trip to Spain. It was not a school trip, but one of the high school Spanish teachers um, took, I believe, six kids to Spain with her over their spring break. And they actually were gone for 10 days. But Max had the privilege to go. His dad wanted to bless him with that trip. And his dad paid for the whole trip, which was super nice of him. I bought Max a suitcase and things like that. And Max works really hard. And he he works three to four days a week at his job. He's gotten three promotions. He plays an instrument. He is in the quiz bowl, which is like a trivia thing at school. Um he just does all kinds of stuff. And so he works really hard. So um, since he's been paying for, you know what? I don't even need, I feel like I'm defending myself. I don't need to defend myself. I'm just going to say he works super, super hard. And so pays for a lot of his own stuff. So his dad wanted to bless him with the trip. And I'm thank, so thankful for that. Well, I didn't expect he was going to bring us back gifts. And you guys know when you have a teenager, um, it can go either way. And so, but 
what I was going to say is if you have a teenager, then you know that when they do something for you, they may not get you a birthday gift. They may not get you a card for Mother's Day, but it might be some random time of the year where they think of you, they either buy you something or they give you a card or a sticky note that says, I love you, or just something. And that means more than anything in the world. So this is kind of one of those times. And let me just go ahead and show you. He pulls this stack out of his suitcase, which it was wrapped a little nicer. I didn't rewrap it, but I wanted to show you because this, oh my gosh, I just figured out, this has been reminding me of something and I couldn't figure out what. Hold on. I just figured out what this wrapping reminds me of. And I think it's like three feet away from me in a drawer. Let me see if I can go find it. Okay, I'm back. I could not find it, but I'm going to have to find it for you guys. I have this tiny little pouch. It's, I think, from Fossil. It's leather, and it's like this exact design, I swear. And it's like this shape, and it's a little zip pouch. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to find it for another video, so you guys don't think I'm crazy. I thought it was with all my pouches, but it's not. So anyway, let me go ahead and unwrap these, though. This must be what it came with from the, you know, the outdoor market or whatever, but he got me these beautiful dishes. And I mean, look at this. It's purple and turquoise. So not only did he know I love pottery and little dishes and stuff, but he knows my favorite colors because he was able to find that. And then there was a third one. So I think I opened them like in this order. And he's like, mom, I know you love pottery and I know you love little flat dishes or little dishes to put your dice in and stuff for your videos. So he said, I thought you would really like these. So can we just say shout out to my son because that was so thoughtful. And if that wasn't thoughtful enough, he got his sister something too. And he got her a wallet and it's the exact kind of wallet she loves. But of course, this one is super special because it's from Spain and I don't have it with me, but it, um, she has it at school with her today, but um, it was like brown leather and it had this, these like kind of just designs, um, kind of like, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's because the camera's on. I can't think of the word, right, Carly? But, oh, geometric. Okay, it had geometric designs that were like raised, but it was just like all one color. Anyway, I actually cried when she opened her gift because just she was just like, wow, oh my goodness, I love it. I can't believe you got this for me. Wow, this is so cool. And just, just the fact that, you know, her older brother got it for her and she loved it so much, appreciated it so much. There was just so much thoughtfulness there. My mama heart just went crazy and I just, tears just started coming out of my face and Matt was smiling. He knew I was just so proud of my kids. So just sharing a proud moment there. So anyway, these dishes though are beautiful. This part right here is like raised. So if you can hear that with my fingers against it, um, it's all kind of raised, but it is so cool. So I'm super, I'm super excited to share these with you guys. And that was just so cool. My son had a wonderful trip. He said he was talking Spanish so much that when him and his, um, his friend from school, um, they buddied up. There were only two boys that went on the trip. So him and his friend, um, they always shared a hotel room and they always shared a bedroom and things like that, just the two of them. And so he said they would get back to their room at night. And when they were getting ready for bed, he said they would forget and they would start, they would keep talking Spanish to each other. And then one of them would laugh and say, oh, wait a second, we can go back to English now. So I thought that was cute. But anyway, that is all I'm going to say because that's not what this video is for. So I've showed you everything. I think I've told you everything I was going to tell you. Still mad I can't find that pouch, but I will find it and bring it back on another video. And let's go ahead and get into the money portion of this video. So Matt, if you will put this time back in the beginning, I would truly appreciate it. And I think I am gonna clear these off because if you guys know me, I like to have all kinds of rum and not feel claustrophobic. So I'm gonna move those, but I'm gonna keep my cute little balloon animal from Nicole and I will put this here to sort the money. And last time I did one of these, I had 
prepared the video ahead of time. I had gone through these, counted them, written them down, had a sticky note in front of me so that everything would turn out perfectly. And because I planned that whole video so it would just flow beautifully, I decided not to plan this one. Number one, because honestly, because I'm just being lazy. And number two, because some of you don't like the videos where everything's put together and you like just seeing me do it on the fly. So this is totally an on the fly video. And I just hope you guys realize that I try to vary my content so much, even vary the way I do videos to so that to appease you all um, as much as I can. So I try to do things differently. So since the last time I did this, here are the challenges we have. So we have um, that we have TNL budgets. So I'm going to do the true crime ones first. This is from Janelle Ray budgets. We have one from it's still in the in the envelope, but from official budgets, um, Susan at windmill Ridge budgets and more willow tree budgets. And this is from sunflower family days, which I can't find on Etsy anymore. And then I think that's all we have for true crime. And then we have the puppy ones. We have one from Lemon Ivy. We have Boop the Snoot from Desiree at Debt Free by 43. And I'll put I'll put everyone in the description box again so you can find these people if you'd like to. This one is from Jasmine at MS Mom Budgets. We have one from I think it's Prince with Phoebe. And Print with Phoebe. And then Whimsy Designs by LB. So this is what we're going to be counting and stuffing today into my sinking funds. So why don't we start with the puppy ones because they're already out right now. I'll go ahead, unpaper clip them and just get out the money and sort it into here. And then when I'm done, um, we will count it together. So I will be back. Okay, so I am now gotten all the money in here organized. Let's, these are all the puppy challenges. So this money is going into Diego's sinking fund. Diego is my sweet little boy that we rescued. And let me tell you, I had a nightmare about him last night that someone captured him and stole him. And it was one of the scariest nightmares I've had in a long time. And when I woke up, he was... I kept like waking up from this nightmare, but then falling back into it. But he was against me under the covers. And it's because I had this nightmare this morning after Matt got up. And after Matt gets up, he lets him out of his, um, his, I hate calling it a cage, but it's his house, whatever he loves to sleep in. We lock him in at night in the living room. And so when Matt gets up, he lets him out and he doesn't go outside. He doesn't say hi to Matt. He books it into the bedroom, jumps on the bed, jumps on top of me, starts kissing me, and then goes right under the covers, usually by my feet, and curls up and goes back to sleep until I'm ready to get up. So anyway, he is so sweet, but it was such a scary nightmare. Okay, so let's see. Here is his here is his sinking fund or whatever. So Juan Diego, I did take out $20 out of here because we bought him. I bought him something. Oh, his favorite toy that he plays with nonstop. It was a toy that Matt's parents gave him when we first got him. He chewed through that one. We bought him a second one and he has almost chewed through that one. So I ordered, I ordered him two toys, a third one of that toy, plus another one that was the same brand. So that's the only reason why there's money taken out, but he is at $2,963. So case you wanted to know. So we are going to add all of this money into his account. So I'll put the calculator there and I'm just gonna, I'll count, I'll start with the 20. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So 100 plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 190. So 190 plus, and I'm counting these slowly and carefully because I didn't count them ahead of time and I'm just counting them once. So I just want to make sure I don't mess up. So 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 110. 
plus, wow, and then we just have the ones, so I'll speed these up as I count them, but we're at 400, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41, 42, so 42. So we are adding $442 to Diego's sinking fund. So let me go ahead. Let's add that in. Today, I believe, like I said, was is May 2nd. And we're going to do plus 442. So we have 442 in the calculator. I'm going to add the 2963. And it should be 3. 405. So that is exciting. That is a really good amount. And let's go ahead and this is again, I don't have this prepared ahead of time. So I'm going to do this with you guys. Um, but we need to put in prop money and probably and send some money to the bank. So I already took out the money out of the envelope. And so before we had, before I added this today, we had $29.63 and I put it in the bank. Every time we reach another $500, I put it in the bank and I put in one of these slips. So that means we should have $2,500 in the bank. So $1,500, wait, I can't even, 1,000, 2,500. So yes, 2,500 in the bank. And then we have all this cash. And so now we, it looks like we can only put 500 because this came to 34. So, okay. So anyway, okay. I, <laughs> this is real time. You guys, my brain is frozen right now. Um, so we need to get more prop money out. So Let's, I had that ready somewhere. Let's see, it's right here. This is my prop money that I got from Kimmy at Kimmy's Budgets and Bayesian Girl Budget, Budgets on YouTube. And so we are gonna need prop money that represents 3,000. And since we already have 2,500 in the bank, that means we're sending 500 to the bank. So what did we say all this was? I'm trying to remember. Oh, 442. So let's let's do this so we're gonna put 500 in the bank so we need to take some of this out so we need to take out 56 dollars so let's see i'm gonna take some smaller bills 10 20 30 40 50 and wait a second i want to make sure i'm not doing anything wrong where did i get that okay okay nope let me back up let me back up. Okay. That's not true. We have 442. Yeah, we have 442 in cash. So if we get 50, 58, okay, let me just show you on the calculator. Um, if every 500 we put money in the bank, then, and we know this is 442. If we subtract 442, $58. So let me, let me do that. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then let me make change for this for a 10. So we'll do a five and five ones, one, two, three, four, five. And then we need 55, 56, 57, 58. So this should be 500 and I wanna put the smaller bills back in the bank. So I'm gonna put that aside. That means if we put in another 500 in prop money to show that we have 3,000 in the bank, then we should have $405 left in cash, if I did that right. Now, if you're new to budgeting, or this is one of your first times watching, or first few times watching a video like this, and you have no idea what I just did, please don't even worry about it. It's, it's not important. Okay, so we need to add in 500, and I'm out of the 1,000s, so I'm just gonna, oh, Okay, I'm out of the 500s as well. Okay, this is a good problem to have. We'll do two 250s. Oh, you know what? I know what I wanted to do, you guys. I wanted to use, I got a $500 from Tobin Budgets, this paw of approval. I want to use this. So um, I had that aside because I wanted to use it in this video. So that's perfect. So we have 1,000, so 15, 
2,000, 2,500, 3,000. Okay, so this represents the 3,000 in the bank. We already have 2,500 in the bank. We're gonna put this into Diego's account. This should be 500. And then this should be 405. So let's see if this is right. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 140, 160, 260, 360, 370, 380, 390, 400, and 2, 3, 4, 5. So that came out correctly. Okay. So we, I hope you guys, if you understood that, please tell me because I feel like that was all over the place. But so anyway, Diego has 3,000 in the bank. He had 2,500, but we're putting the 500 that I just put to the side in the bank after this video. So this is su super exciting. He's a lucky pup. So I'm gonna put this back in and now we're done with this and now we're gonna go to the true crime money. Hopefully I haven't lost you all right now, but I am gonna go ahead since I know this is the 500, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take this off of here so I don't forget. And I will use a paper clip. And I did have some sticky notes ready. Let's see. Around here somewhere. Then we'll put 500. And I'll put this in my bank bag. 500 to Diego. So it's going to go to Diego's savings account in the bank where I keep the money that represents the prop bills we have in there. So I'm going to put this aside. And that will go in my bank bag. And now let's go ahead and let's tackle these true crime finished challenges. So let me make sure I got them all. Okay, I think this is all of them. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, let me show them to you first. I think, no, I think I already did. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unstuff these, organize them in the tray and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have no idea how much this is either. So this will be fun to see. Let's get out my emergency fund. And the last time we did a video like this, the emergency fund was at 8,469. So I just wanna let you guys know, if you don't wanna see me taking making prop money or taking this money and putting it aside and putting the prop bills in, I don't have to do that on camera when I do these videos. So if you want to see it, let me know. Or if you don't, let me know. Um, I just want to show what you guys want to see, but I don't want to confuse anyone. And I feel like I never explain it correctly. So anyway, let's go ahead and put this up here. And um, we're going to go ahead and count. I have a lot of ones in because I have that Seabuck um what, what do you want to call it? That C-Buck savings challenge that we finished. So I'm going to go deposit these at the bank today. And then I don't need to make a withdrawal for video for a while. So I want these to circulate through other people because I don't want to just go, you know, two days from now to my bank and then give me all C-Bucks for ones. Because I, although I'm not collecting them anymore, but anyway, we'll see. So we'll see. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get the calcu calculator out and we'll start counting these. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. Two, three, four, five, six. So 76 in ones. So we have $526. So I'm going to write that in now. 526. That is awesome. These challenges really do add up, my friends. And then 5, 2. So 526 plus 8, 4, 6, 9. 8995. Are you kidding me? Now I want to put another $5 in. Oh my goodness. I have money sitting on my desk. I like want to go grab a $5 bill and put it in. I think that's cheating though. 
I don't know. Anyway, so that is crazy. So did we, we're putting in another 500. So that means we are going to be able to use another $500 placeholder. And I know that I had another 501 from Tobin Budges that they gifted to me, but I cannot find it at the moment. So we will use these two to represent the 500 we're adding. And let's see. So right, we were at 84. So that means we have 8,000 in prop money right now. And let's see, are we going to be able to, if that was, if that was 9,000, I, oh, wait a second, could we do it then? Okay, Matt, you might have to take some of this out. I'm kind of thinking out loud right now. We have, if we had, we have 8,000 in prop money. If we made it to 9,000, Yes. Okay. I think this is going to help me. Okay. Let me grab a $5 bill from back here. I'm going to grab a five. Okay. And I'm thinking we might be able to put in another whole thousand instead of 500 in prop money. Cause this was at 469. And if this had been an 8,500, then we would have been able to do another 500. So if you're fall again, if it's making sense, it's making sense. If it's not, I'm sorry, but I also don't want to recount all this money, so I'm trying to, that's why I'm taking my time. So we know this is 526. So I don't want to forget that. So I don't even know where those other sticky notes went, but I have this. So that, this is 526. So let's put, I want to remember that that was 526, and I want to remember that I added five. So It'll be 531 that's in the cash tray, and I want to remember that. Okay, so let's see what we can do, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So let me put in that I'm adding the, another five. So I know Madeline will approve. She always says, your channel, your rules. So we're going to add $5 to make this 9000 and now we're only 1000 away from our goal for the end of December. This is awesome. So we have, if I empty this envelope, we have the 8,000 in prop money right here. And that means that if we're going to end at exactly 9,000, then we're going to have all prop money in here. And that means that this plus this needs to equal a thousand. So let's see if it does. So over to the side, we have the 531 plus, and then whatever this is in here, which I can tell it should be 469, but whatever this is, the two should equal 1,000. So 1, 200, 250, 3, 320, 40, 60, 380, 390, 4, 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 465, 66, 67, 68, 69. So plus 469, it does equal 1,000. So we're going to put over here 1,002 emergency fund. So again, after this video, I'll go to the bank and deposit this into my account that says Diego, and I'll deposit all of this into my account that says emergency fund. And then we will have no, no cash in here, only prop money, but I think you guys understand that. I hope you do. And let me see what we can do. Oh, oh no, we can't use that yet. I even have a 10,000. I cannot wait till we can use this, guys. Oh my goodness. So we need to make sure we have 9,000. So we'll do a five and then six, seven, eight, and then I don't even have enough prop money, you guys. All right, I am going to press pause on this movie and I'm, I will be right back. Okay, I did it. I found the other 500 that Tobin Budgets had generously gifted me in an order. I am obsessed with their shop. And so now we can go ahead and I think we can make 9,000 work in prop money. So we have five and then 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 8,000, 
500 and then plus 500 is 9,000. So I think that's right. I don't know why it seems wrong to me. Five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. Yes. Yeah. So we officially have 9,000 in prop money in my emergency fund. We are so close to finishing this goal. I am so happy. And I really hope this made this made sense to you guys. And again, I can make these types of videos shorter where I just show you how much we're adding and that's it. Or I can walk you through the prop money. This is the first time I did it nice and slow so that after I turn off the camera, I don't have to recount either of those piles. So that's why I kind of took you the long route so that I wouldn't have to recount anything. So anyway, I am off to the bank. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. You have been so supportive. I truly appreciate you all. I need to get to the bank and then get to the dentist. So I will see you again soon. I love you all so much and I appreciate you. Bye.